right, Coach. From the home of the Bills since 1973, there's a look at New Era Field just outside of Buffalo, New York. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's go! Let's do this! So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A quick pass out to Aguilar. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. From midfield, here's Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. A good chance this is four-down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. This pass complete wins to Ertz, and he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good, that middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right, probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well, <laughs> and he's got it. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets. And, he's and he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Let's go, let's go. From eight yards out. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain on the dump off. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. On the ground with the rookie, Devin Singletary. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Throwing his Allen on third. And that will be incomplete. Now you put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. Back deep is Darren Sproles. Forty-two yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Eagles will have it, taking over first and ten. Eagles take the field again, and I want to revisit what we said earlier about their start now at three and three. Not an amazing beginning of the season, but hey, they're still tied for the lead in the NFC East. Big one Sunday night, week seven at Dallas, and head coach Doug Peterson, he already said, hey, we're going to go down to Dallas, we're going to be ready to play, and we're going to win that football game. What do you make of the comment? I think that Doug Peterson is telling his team that he still believes in them. You know what a tough market it is in Philadelphia. You know what it's like with expectations around the league that this is a Super Bowl-ready roster and they're at 3-3. Three and three. He wants that team to know that he believes in them and that they're still talented enough to go out and get it done. And in a sense, putting himself on the line and trying to take the pressure off of his players because you know what kind of questions they're going to face all week going into that. He wants all those questions to be directed to him. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, again, a few extra. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Shotgun now for Wentz. Aguilar has it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. First down, Eagles. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Now a play fake here on first down. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Wentz now to throw. And he finds Howard complete. They'll give him eight on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. From the gun, it's Wins. This one complete to Sproles. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. It'll be a two-yard game, and that'll bring up fourth down. So 
So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this one is right down the middle. And the lead moves to 10 zip. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And here come the Bills. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Now a man closing in on 15,000 career rush yards, Frank Gore. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Allen off the play fake. And that's complete to Croft. He's got daylight. 20. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 61 yards. Excellent execution. And now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone. I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. On first down, it's Gore. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep a defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Now that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Check, Check 53, Mike. Following the penalty, it's Gore. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Timmy Jernigan, the Florida State man, in on the stop. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen sliding out of the pocket. He may try and run for this. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And now they'll throw with Allen. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. From three yards out, as his guys are on the board 
here in this first quarter. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Hauschka with the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. It's a short kick taken near the 18. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it second and seven. Sproles, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. Now that battle, that was one right up front. And we're used to seeing those battles right up front, but we're used to seeing a lot of defensive tackles or more run stuffers and just play the spot where they are. How about these dancing bears we see nowadays that win the battle and then go upfield looking for runners? Now wins, and he connects with Ertz. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A gain of 22. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second and 11 now. Wentz, and he'll hit Jeffrey complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Now Wentz on third down. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 25-yard line. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Wentz now on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. 
One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. This is Howard on second down. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. A good run by Jordan Howard. And now another first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Elliott good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be taken very short. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. <laughs> On play action, Allen. And he finds Beasley complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Beasley signed with the Bills in March just before his 30th birthday after seven years with the Cowboys, hoping that he can be a very valuable slot receiver in Buffalo. Just under 700 yards last year and three touchdowns in Dallas. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. He was brought down by Kamu Grugier Hill. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. Now on second down, this is Gore. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And that's caught by Beasley. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 18. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. 
And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. A loss of two there. Second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. A quick throw here out to Brown. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Brings up third and 10. The Bills on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and nine. Allen to throw once more. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen, where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. On first and goal, Gore. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. The veteran Frank Gore stands alone in the backfield on second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration. As this and this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Robert Foster there to make the grab as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Working from the gun, Wentz. Ertz over the middle. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. Now Wentz. And this is Ertz with it. Right side. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. 
They'll run it with Sproles. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. Here we go, here we go. Ready? Give me that ball, defense. Give me that ball. Give me that ball, defense. Here we go, pack man. Ready? Throwing on second down. Wentz. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. And Jeffrey's got it. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 27-yard line. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body, ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control. And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for and receive. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So after the INT, it's Allen rolling to his right. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Mike 53, Mike 53. I don't even know why this team showed up. On first down, Allen. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target. But it'll be second down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. It's complete. It's Gore. Gore hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. This defense tightening up a bit. That last catch, just one yard. Making it third and nine. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. He can run for it, and he will. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. You're down three under a minute to go. How aggressive are you going to be in this spot? Not as aggressive as I probably would want to be. Only down three. I mean, it might as well be even going into the half. That's not a deficit that makes me want to push it and potentially make a mistake in this situation and cost myself even more points. But boy, getting in a field goal range and tying it, that's tempting. Awfully enticing. You almost talked me into it. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Now you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. 
Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him early but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and, try and think with them here. Try to play field position, maybe. Turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And the grab by Croft. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Allen on the move to his left. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. That's a prime example of how Josh Allen can hurt a defense. You remember back to his rookie season a year ago, 631 rushing yards, second only to Lamar Jackson. Also had eight rushing touchdowns. He is a dual threat QB. Now a play fake here on first down. Under a heavy and down he goes. Nigel Bradham flying in and laying the lumber defensively. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes still clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Give him six on the run. They're going to be faced now with a third and 12. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Play action. Now it's Allen. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one good for 24 yards. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. On first down, Gore. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll stick to the ground game with Gore. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the seven yard line. Call it an eight yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. From the gun, it's Allen. This is caught. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. That? 
So that'll back him up five. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. Gore. And Gore will get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have taken the lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Hauschka adds the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This will be taken short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front. And they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. On first, they go right back to Howard. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. From just shy of midfield, Wentz. Looking for Jordan Howard that time. But now it's third down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it, when you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck, you don't have defensive backs making plays on the football, hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Here's Jake Elliott. Career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. 64 was Matt Crater's record. This would top that by a yard. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The tight end, Lee Smith, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. 
You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, yeah, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back My talks quarterback head. mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. To the air, Allen. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. I'm going to hit you all so many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. The Bills send the punter out as he's on here to punt it away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position. The ball comes out, you know, there. That only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold them. Now this throw caught left side. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. They run with Howard. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The last run got six, now second and four. They go with Howard again. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. They're losing here in the third quarter, maybe trying to get the ball outside, bust a big play. Obviously, didn't work there. Yeah, and while it didn't work, it, I really can't fault them for trying it. You and I have talked to the offensive coordinator, and we knew that, that was a place they wanted to try and go, and sometimes you just have to stick with it because two-yard gains turn into 20-yard gains as the game goes along. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. And Eagle first down there, Wentz to Ertz, and the names that end in TZ. Now it's Sproles. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. To throw his wins. Try to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. Right there, 54, right there, right there. 54 points. Allen now on first down. And this one caught by Beasley. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Down. 
Allen now. Perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Now a delayed give to goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. The best play callers in any league know how to break their tendencies. They study themselves, they self-scout, and they realize most of the time you don't call a draw play on first and ten. So every so often you insert that play just to make the defense think, even if it's not successful. On second and 11 now, Allen. They'll wind up getting ten back as that sets him up for third down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled out a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Operating from the gun. Allen got an open man. It's Foster. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From midfield, here's Allen. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? He'll buy some time right. He may try and run for this. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to equal Matt Prater's record. It's a 64-yard attempt. This was still going to be a one-score game either way, but still, that's a potentially harmful miss here in the fourth. It certainly is, because if you consider that now if they give up a touchdown, they give up the lead. So he might be getting the side eye by the defenders coming out on the field now as he goes back to the bench after that miss. Wentz now five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there. 21 yards. They were in zone defensively. Went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone. Because eventually, you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. And an eagle first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. On first down, they go option to the right. And now he'll tuck it and run. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. He'll get eight on the keeper there. It'll be second and a couple. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. 
Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. On second down now, it's Howard, and he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. A three-yard touchdown run. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. Elliott good on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Short kick here, fielded about the 17. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield... You know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. Well, let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, and this will be incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And here's Allen, operating from the gun. And he finds Beasley complete. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. The Bills send the punter out. He's been terrific so far. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that had far too much air under it. It's out of the back of the end zone. And the football will come out to the 20-yard line. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Wentz caught by the tight end Ertz. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now Howard. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Here's Sproles. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He 
he's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Throwing now is Wentz. Screen pass to Sproles. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Shotgun now for Wentz. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this will be down just on the other side of midfield. Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him My warm? Game. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Allen to throw again. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. On first down, Allen throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Devin Singletary there, and now it's second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Allen now going to throw again. He's got Gore. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they put that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. A pressure spot now for a guy who's been here before, and that's Steven Hauschka. This will be from 56 yards out. And that is no good. Wide to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. So distance, not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Wentz going to throw. They shakes him off. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back, but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. Now.
Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. <laughs> to throw, it's Wentz. It's caught by Jackson. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. The Eagles on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third down and 12. Now wins. And he connects with Ertz. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Big hook up there. Forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Tremaine Edmonds, the Bills' leading tackler as a rookie last year, in on the stop there. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. That didn't happen on that play. Again, it's Howard. Working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 26. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and in inches. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Back to throw, wins. And this is going to be incomplete. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration or the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Running with Howard. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Keep it on the ground. It's Howard. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And a kick by Elliott is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through.
After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Allen and the Bills now. Down 27-21. A minute 38 to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Get in the white room. Get in the white room. He'll look to throw. And the grab by Croft. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. Now the Bills will hustle to the line. Now Allen. And his throw is incomplete. Tyler Croft, the tight end, the one he was looking for. And that'll make it third down. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. He's back to throw. That's to his running back, complete. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. Wentz with a kneel down, and that will be the final act of this game. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.